Hi, my name is Jeff Knight. I'm the entomologist for the Nevada Department of Agriculture. I've been with the department for about 35 years, but I've been studying insects since I was very young and always wanted to be an entomologist. My job includes looking for all the different kinds of insects in Nevada, especially the ones that may cause us problems in our crops and our environment. Another part of my job is taking care of the insect reference collection, which contains specimens of insects from all over the state. This is the funnest part of my job, and we'll take a look at it in a minute. This is what we call our rearing room. Um, we get live insects in sometimes, and sometimes they're in a larval or immature form, like caterpillars, and we actually have to wait till they turn into uh, an adult, like a butterfly, uh, to be able to identify them, so that's what we do here. The desks are for our seasonal employees that work on uh, our surveys and things like that. And you can see the cages we have. This is uh, one of our tarantulas and some other insects that we keep in here. This is the insect reference collection for the state of Nevada. We have over 300,000 identified insect specimens in the collection. The boxes on the wall contain specimens that have yet to be identified and moved to the collection. When they are identified, they're moved to these drawers where they are segregated by species and, in some cases, by uh, sex. If you take a look, you can see that each specimen is labeled with the scientific name. This is a drawer of tarantula hawk wasps or spider wasps. Uh, we have a number of different species all over the state. Shows some of the variety of what we have in the collection. We also have some butterflies and moths. These are tiger moths, or ones that come from woolly bear caterpillars. And they, again, um, come from all over the state. You notice on these, on the butterflies and moths, we mount them with their wings spread. We run a couple of thousand different traps around the state each year for invasive species. Uh, these are just a few of them. Uh, this is a Japanese beetle trap. We put a lot of our traps out at the beginning of the summertime and then pick them up or service them throughout the summer uh, to see if we've caught any of the species we want. Uh, you can see that uh, we open the trap up, we dump out the contents, to see if we've caught any of what we're looking for. And you can look in here and we can take a look and see what we've got. And we look can look real quick here and see that there's no Japanese beetles. With this trap, this is a beetle that we're looking for and it's a problem back east. This is a gypsy moth trap. We put out several hundred of them throughout Nevada each year and we pick them up at the end of the season to see if we've caught uh, any gypsy moths. Uh, it has a sticky uh, substance in it and it often catches a lot of moths but the gypsy moth uh, is a fairly large moth and it uh, has large feathery antennae uh, and defoliates trees. Each trap that we use has a chemical in it, or what we call a pheromone, and this piece of string has a pheromone for the gypsy moth, and the male moths can smell this up to a quarter mile away, uh, and they're attracted to the trap and then get stuck in the, the sticky material. And then we can come in, if we find any, then we try and find out where they came from, and if we catch too many, then we go into an eradication program. This is uh, an exotic wood borer trap uh, or bark beetle trap. These uh, traps kind of look like a trunk of a tree. We then put various chemicals uh, or lures uh, on the trap. You can see the little blue uh, bag up at the top. These attract the insects. The insects then fly in hit the funnels and fly down to the collection cup at the bottom. We then pick the cup up 
about every week. Look inside the collection cup. Um, we then sift out the insects uh, and take them in for to the lab, to the collection room for identification. This is a sample from a bark beetle trap. Uh, you can see that there's hundreds of insects in here. We have to go through and look through the material and see if there's any of the species uh, or the insects that we're worried about uh, and sort those out and identify them. Here one of our employees is sorting through moth samples and determining if the, the moths are ones that we're worried about. The moth we're looking for is a bad pest on vegetable crops. You can see we get lots of insects in the trap. Uh, once again, uh, this is something we usually do in the winter time, the mounting and labeling, uh, when it's our slow period. Uh, and uh, we're not out running around the state putting traps out or servicing those traps. Thank you for taking that quick tour of the entomology section of the Nevada Department of Agriculture with me. I hope you found it interesting. One of the neat things about studying insects is we see something new almost every single day. Thank you and stay safe.